champion son of a champion sire, Good Magic was an easy sell to breeders. Now, the once million dollar yearling will see his first yearlings go through the sales ring. I remember when Good Magic was, when, when he was first born here, you know, he was a, it's one of the rare horses. He was always a standout from the time he was born to the time you looked at him three months later to the time he was a weanling on to a yearling. I mean, he was one of those horses that physically, he was always beautiful. He was always a horse you looked at out in the paddock and said, oh, my, who, who is that? I think the most unique thing with Good Magic is he was so precocious. People expect Curlin to get durability, ruggedness, uh, horses that run far, classic type horses. But a lot of times those classic type horses don't also come in the form of early precocious horses. And I think that's what sets Good Magic apart is not only was he a classic type horse that won the, that won the Haskell, won the Bluegrass, you know, he was also such a precocious horse that ran early. You know, to make your first start at Saratoga and then your next start getting beat a nose in the champagne and then his next race, people forget he was a maiden going into the Breeders' Cup. And, uh, you know, it takes an extremely talented horse, extremely good-minded horse to go through those three or four races in, in that amount of time uh, to hold up to that. His Breeders' Cup Juvenile win, that's where it all came to fruition. We thought he could really win the race, but to win it the way he did it, I thought was very, very impressive. Absolutely drawing clear to a winning scintillating style. Good Magic is a horse that's been followed by everybody. Um, he's read in excess of 100 mares every year. Their champion son of Curlin, very well-bred, very nice type, cost a million dollars as a yearling. All the things that uh, uh, a, a breeder would look for. His first book of, of mares, from our perspective, and Hill and Dale's, uh, he got a great book of mares, especially for a horse standing for $35,000. You know, we bred the caliber of mare that would, would go to a much higher stallion than a $35,000 horse. That's how much we believed in him. The good magics that we, we have here at the farm, uh, as a group, they're physically outstanding. I mean, uh, the one trait that I notice that so many of them have, they appear that they're gonna be very early and precocious, like he was. This colt by Good Magic out of the Mare Surflight is a very straightforward colt. Uh, the thing I really like about him, he has a two-turn pedigree, but he has a sprinter type body. Looks like it will not take him very long to get ready. Very sound, looks like he can take a lot of training, really pretty hind leg. Just a really strong colt with a nice scope about him. I think the breeders are going to be very justly rewarded. I mean, they look like they'll be very, very sound horses. They are all just great minded like he was. A lot of the traits that he had that made him such a good horse, physically, mentally, he seems to be throwing that to the offspring that we have here at the farm. They're well bred, well made, and we're, we're excited for his future. Hopefully it would be Curlin's next important son. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content from the TDN.